What is up guys, welcome back to GWT Goons Today we got a new episode for you Wet Death, you know, after what happens So after the last episode, just a wee, little recap um, So we kind of find some of our old friend We find Sadie And then, um, you know, maybe, maybe now she can get us some job to do that's I guess that's pretty good and now and then also for the loan we can maybe can get some money from the bank and then we can actually buy the land and then become a farmer I guess John become a farmer and then now let's see what happened let's see what's going on So now we fight inside the bank and um we see what's going Can on. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? Mm hmm. Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. Well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. That's great. Thank you. Now, of course, great. we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. Of course. I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. It's so easy compared to now that you know if you're going to a loan in the bank and then they need to check your credit and they need to do all this paperwork and all this stuff. Now just literally just just being the man of the world, just like that's it. <laughs> literally, just like literally a few seconds ago that guys don't even know our name. Now we need to come here, which is, I guess, Scooby be our next home. I mean, to the, I guess, this is the place to the people that who um play the first run, the uh, Red Death one. That kind of know that what happened in the farm, in that farm. So it just, I guess, it's good to go and visit the old place I guess so. on, girl. whoa what happened here and now an arrow two arrow what kind of horse is that it's blue that's that's kind of cool horse, a blue horse. Hmm.
So now we're here. Literally, it's like <laughs> nothing. Can I help you, friend? Hello. You want to play? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, Mister. This is a free country. <laughs> wow. Now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid. Afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gone. Owns it. That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Don't test me, boy. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. There ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner! What do you want from me? Look, I'm just trying to be nice. You make me do it, they make me do it. Come on, man. Like, I'm not gonna pay you. Like, I'm not gonna pay you money. So it's already paying money for the bank. I'm not gonna pay you money to. Come on. <laughs> Don't you know my name is? My name is John Master. That's right. Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no paths. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Imagine how much is that? I just, just wondering. Just, I just wondering. It's like, you know, do you think it's going to be like over a thousand or something? That's it. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking, they own me, they just own your property. Now you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> just joking. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> this guy just loved that. What do you call those? Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead. Go. Dead. Uncle. The very same. Do you? Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. I just well, bought the land, boy. I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death. Why is that? I don't know. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Yeah, come I on, guess. Man. I guess Abby will be happy to see you as well. You gonna mount up or what? I don't know why I need to study my horse. Follow me. I guess it'll be good, you know. You know, uncle living with us. We got another a pair of hand, I guess. Well, that is. That is. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch 
in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. No, She's, not yet, uh, I guess. Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? <laughs> oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. Thanks, <laughs> Uncle. More of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury me out here. <laughs> At least now we've got a place we can call home, I guess. It's really not. <laughs> basically, right. Like, it's nothing. <laughs> yep. I, that's nothing to look at. <laughs> really. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. I'm stuck with you. John, okay. a rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. <laughs> Uncle still the same uncle. The first thing she did you do? Just lay down and sleep. <laughs> and drink, of course. I'm still surprised where did where did Uncle get get his money? It's like, you know, he's not doing those bouncy or like you know. I don't know how he's making his money. Really, I mean at least now we get into part two, you know, which is good. We've finally become a house owner. We own a not just own a house. We also own a land. Look, ooh, wonder how long has that been? Mission. This is all those less. Yeah, no way. I mean, no way that I can complete all those sets because we all know that is so difficult. But now we get to here. That's pretty good, I guess. Let's look at the map for a bit. So we. This is a land, a small area. That actually remind me of um. The first one, a lot of memory of for the first one that no. John was with his son. We're doing like those. Look, get uncle. Working hard. <laughs> it's the Lombago. I have I overdo mm. it. I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Yeah. Having a farm, having animals. Got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get <out. laughs> I'm getting. Oh, no, okay, okay. I have to tell you. I went into town and oh, I, got, I got a little drunk. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to mm -hmm. Saint Denis. Why Charles. are you going there? Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Yes, I what dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. <laughs> so, I feel like this whole part that we're not going to see how we go and Jack. It's because during this time there was Here we are. Oh, Let's get off. I guess kidnapped by the 
government agent or something like that. So. city is still the same after all those years I mean yeah it still look the same let's go to the market first yeah. cat hmm? this guy is still here This guy is still here selling set, which is I haven't collect all of them yet. I mean, we, we we got some of it, you know. I got some of it, but not right. Look, <laughs> look at this one. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Food? Waterproof, boy. This one, I haven't finished the last one. Otherwise, I already can get, can get the whole set. Hey, partner. Morning. I'm sorry, mate. Big Indian fella. Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. Nope. Sorry, Mr. Nope. Actually, yes. Hmm. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thanks a lot. Craft. I don't think I can craft anything. Mm. What is that? I think they might be starting soon. Starting soon. That means we need Inside to go now. Need to go now. Is there a block? Oh. Can go through here. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> here. What took you so long? Right here, oh, here good buddy. lord, I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Asked that first Even barman I met. He told me Charles was here. Love a surprise. <laughs> Not one of life's great <laughs> mysteries, turns out. Like a killer. What did she say? We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. Yo. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so hey, you. boy. Oh, so's he. That's uncle? What are that's, you doing? That's uncle, man. I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Kind of. Kind of just... I mean... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of no. course not. <laughs> so... The only thing anyone so, like. Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'm lucky, man. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On, on myself. myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? Uh, how much you got? Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. 
Well, yeah. Of course, I'm going to bet on Charles. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Of course, I'm good. I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendants of ancient warriors. Ooh, this is this. Come on. Look at this. this look at this white dude. Look at this white dude. Come on. He's such a wet neck. Because his neck is wet. His body is wet. Boy! We can, we can win this, boy. Come on, come on. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's have a good Let's fight. Clean, exactly. So Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. You see that? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Damn. Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Move. Ha. Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. It's your shit, partner. We just made the bed, I said. So you keen on staying around here, heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, I, I don't think you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater. <laughs> I haven't got money. Okay. Even, even. I gotta grab my bag. Uncle got money. I got a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Well, just have a few errands to run. You're useless. I. What happened? I'm a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Got 14. Yeah, decent, I guess. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean? What do you mean? What happened? Arthur and me, we were together. I had to get out, but he went back for the money. You, you know that Arthur. Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in the scrimshaw. Oh really? I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Ah, oh, of course. That's so. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. The pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, and some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Don't worry me, no ham down. Like <laughs> Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same way. Okay, Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since. Well, that time. That time. No, me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Mm hmm. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Really? Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! Come over Come here. What now? What do you want? You go left. I'll go right. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, good 
a pro-man fight! Uh, one fight. Evidently! <laughs> what are those guns they have? What? You don't have them? Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on. I don't know why you're going to kill us. You tried hey, pulling them. Yeah. And you got and you got the handgun. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. Five. Thanks a lot. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. It's coming, it's Send coming. Ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, then we'll get out of the interview room. No. I don't want to get a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. Just want to get out. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk. And wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. <laughs> well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> this feels so strange and so quiet. I guess. That's it. Another day passed. Met up quite a few, quite a few people now. It's good. It's good. No, we got more people. I mean, since like everyone nowadays is trying to be like more relaxed, more like having a quiet life, which is good. No, if John got the place, everyone can stay there. I mean, it will be amazing, but. We are back here. That's not it. So I'm, I can craft stuff in the camp. Amazing. So I just want to say thank you very much. I'm going to cut this episode right here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I mean, it's just coming back to th this like this land right here this places this dumb small but what we call home you know just bring up so many memories of the first one when John you know teaching Jack some of those stuff about you know animals and being farmers living a simple life all those things so we bring back those memories so please stay tuned to another episode hope you guys enjoyed it and then i will see you on the next one bye